Hello guys, this is Claudio and welcome to this uh, new episode of the After Effects tutorial. Today is gonna be uh, tentatively a quick episode. Um, if you remember last time, uh, in the last episode, we I showed you how to use the Content Aware Fill to remove uh, an object or a person uh, within a video, from a video in After Effects. This time uh, I will do the same operation, but instead of using a mask, uh, which I did last time, I will use the Roto Brush tool, which is going to be something uh, quicker, I hope. Let's have a look uh, at the, the process. It's going to be very, very, very easy. So, um, let me delete what I did before. Okay, let's see, let's delete. The example that I prepared for you uh, and yes this is the video that we want to want to use uh, so this is a last, same video as last time so it's a video from my daughter doing some exercises at the gym and I had this person passing in front of me while I was recording so I want to cut it out so this time uh, as I said I want to use the road brush tool pretty easy so once you have uh, your uh, video in the composition you just double click on it this will open the same video in the, in, a, in the layer of the video okay once you are here you can uh, use the select the roto brush tool from the top uh, bar here uh, roto brush tool or alt w to, to select it this is a brush actually so um, you can either uh, you can uh, adjust the width of the brush from the brush panel here but yeah for depending on what you need to do but you have just to put uh, some brush on this object and you see that um, after effects selected this area for you uh, it has selected a little bit too much uh, that we don't need to, to, to be selected so to, to remove a part of the selection you just click on the alt um, button on the on the keyboard or option if you have a mac and just click and voila you just removed the, the part you don't need you can go ahead and check with page up and page down uh, key uh, to go frame by frame to see that the selection is pretty uh, precise or not which is the case more or less so you see that's not really really precise for instance as the image uh, we have is a little bit blurry uh, you see that part of the hair is coming out of the selection but we don't really need to pay much attention because then we can expand the selection uh, where we will do the content aware fill operation okay and that's it uh, for for the moment uh, yes so there's then one more thing that we need to do which is the uh, click on invert foreground background Voila. Uh, now we go back to the composition and we have this uh, nice shadow going uh, through the video and now we are ready to use the content aware fill um, which is uh, I put it here if you don't have it on your screen as I said last time you click on window and you uh, click you select content aware fill here so um, <coughs> What you have just to pay attention to is the alpha expansion. So, uh, as I said, as a part of the selection is still out of, of the mask created by the roto brush, um, I uh, advise to, to select a bigger uh, area. So, use the alpha expansion for th with 30, for instance. Anyway, the content aware fill which will work better if you have a bigger area from which uh, taking more information and then you keep just a fill, ob fill method to object uh, as this is an object to be removed and that's it so and now you click on generate fill layer and in a matter of seconds you will have uh, our object uh, removed from the screen great great i like it so much you see as last time uh, it has done exactly the same thing so it has created a sequence of png images above our um, initial uh, footage uh, let me mask our footage and you're gonna see yes exactly what has been created 
you see that uh, even if uh, the selection here was a little bit uh, strange, uh, it has done exactly its job uh, getting the content from previous uh, keyframes. Very quick, uh, even quicker than using a mask. If you want to use a mask, you have still have to create um, keyframes and, and move the mask. But this time we just use the rod brush tool and it's already done automatically by this uh, wonderful uh, AI which has been put in the in the new releases of, uh, of After Effects. That's it for today guys. It has been very quick as I promised. Please uh, put a like in the, on the video if you liked it and uh, if you like you can uh, subscribe to this uh, channel and see you soon.